Information about the Cardigan Welsh Corgi dog breed, including details, images, and more. You should be aware of a few things if you're thinking about getting a Cardigan Welsh Corgi as your next canine friend. You can read all about the breed in this article, including its background, temperament, and interesting facts about it, along with a ton of pictures. The Double Corgi Duo includes the Cardigan Welsh Corgi as one of its members. Of the two Corgi breeds, the Cardigan Corgi is the original and only marginally less well-known, though still quite common. You should be familiar with this breed's benefits and the reasons behind its selection before bringing one of these puppies into your home. Despite being a cute family pet, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi has a few peculiarities that come with ownership. When they are young, they can be quite expensive to buy, and if they are given to the wrong owners, they may be challenging to train. You can learn all there is to know about the Cardigan Corgi in this comprehensive breed guide. You can learn about their background, whether they get along with other dogs, and whether they will fit in with your lifestyle. Come on, let's go! Before continuing with the video, we would like to tell you about our sponsor BullGift.com. On the site, there are special digital drawings, charcoal drawings, and a special oil painting structure, as well as mugs and magnets that you can stick to your cabinet. You can take advantage of the discounts by using the discount code that appears on the screen. Site address and discount code are also in the description. Now let's go back to our video. History Southwest Wales Cardiganshire is home to Cardigan Welsh Corgis. The first variety of Corgi was the Cardigan. He's dated to around 1200 BC, according to experts. The Celts, who were his ancestors, traveled to Cardigan, Wales, with their herding dogs from Central Europe. Afterward, the rest is history, as they say. In Britain, cattle herding has been practiced for at least a millennium. He arrived in America, however, only in 1931. He has since become a well-liked option in family homes and on ranches all over America. The Pembroke Corgi is a hybrid dog breed that was created through mating this breed with another traveling dog breed. They regularly crossbreed the two breeds because they are related and frequently bred together. This is now considered improper, though. The Cardigan Corgi is much more athletic and is typically regarded as the more diligent of the two Corgi breeds. In contrast to Pembroke Corgis, ranches will prefer Cardigan Corgis. Temperament In your company, Cardigans enjoy playing and are at their happiest. With a lot of energy that needs to be expended, the Cardigan Corgi is a hard-working and athletic dog. Even though he is small, he has big dog personality. He needs to be adopted by a family that is active because he is described as being as tough as nails. Rethinking your dog breed choice is definitely necessary if all you want is a cuddly, fluffy lap dog. You can be sure that you will have a ton of fun because you have so much energy, an intelligent mind, and a lot of curiosity. There are many games that cardigans enjoy playing, including tug of war and fetch. Just be careful when he jumps because of his short legs and long back, which can cause injuries. Because he is equally tough and hardy, he makes a great canine sibling for kids. It wasn't just for herding sheep that cardigan corgis were employed. Along with being a hunter, he was a versatile farmhand. He needs to be leashed when out in public because he has a high prey drive. He was also employed as an estate guardian and flock protector, which explains why he barks and speaks out loud. A lot. Consequently, you might want to think about getting a less noisy breed if you have noisy neighbors who might be offended by his singing. He is protective of his family because of his experience in flock protection. In the presence of guests, he will stand by your side despite his reserved demeanor towards strangers. Even though he doesn't appear to fit the bill as a family guard dog, he takes the job very seriously. He is undoubtedly the less outgoing of the two corgis, but he is also the most devoted to his family. He likes to cuddle up with his family for a romantic evening movie after the hard work is done. He likes to cuddle up on the couch between his humans and is a little snuggle bug. A sweet and cunning expression can be seen on cardigans. Even though they appear tough, they are actually huge softies. With his close-knit family, he is affectionate and enjoys the attention. These puppies are very independent dogs, 
and occasionally he thinks he rules the household, so we also need to mention that. Despite being a very diligent worker who finishes the job, he isn't the most submissive dog breed when not at work. It's part of his cheeky corgi charm that he won't always pay attention to you. All you have to do is make sure you have the patience to put up with his mischievous ways. Sizing and Appearance One of the cardigan's most distinctive characteristics in addition to having short legs, Welsh corgis have a long tail. Although cardigans are small dogs, his Pembroke corgi cousin is a little larger than him. His height ranges from 10.5 to 12.5 inches, and his weight ranges from 25 to 38 pounds. The cardigan usually stands taller than he does. He's one of 19 dog breeds with a mutated dwarf gene, which accounts for his short legs. Because he can nip at the cattle's heels and avoid their kicks thanks to his short legs, he makes a great herder. Besides his coat color, cardigans have two other distinguishing characteristics that we will discuss in more detail in the following section. The most noticeable feature is their long tail, followed by his rounded, slightly larger ears. Most dog lovers refer to them as loafy, like a loaf of bread, because of their overall solid and chunky appearance. These puppies are sometimes incredibly greedy. The same is true for those who do not work on a ranch, who frequently develop bulky and excessive weight. Paint and Colors The thick coat of this breed is available in numerous tints and hues that go well with white. Originally from Wales in the United Kingdom, the Cardigan Corgi is a working dog breed, which is chilly and rainy if you've never been. As a result, his hard-working body is kept warm and dry by his thick, double-layered coat. As a breed of shepherding dog, corgis were first developed. He has a thick undercoat of dander and a straighter, thicker coat on top of that. Constructed to keep the underlayer dry. He sheds occasionally throughout the year and more frequently when it's time to shed. Numerous hues and colors are popular for cardigans. He has the option of selecting from white mixed with black, blue merle, brindle, sable, and red. The Pembroke does not have the Brindle gene or the Merle gene, so this is the other distinction between this pup and his Pembroke cousin. The presence of blue eyes in Merle-coated dogs is uncommon. Dogs with Merle coats frequently have multiple spots on their bodies, and the Corgi breed frequently has darker colors on its back, which refers to their saddle, on which, according to a Welsh legend, fairies rode. Demands for Exercise Ensure that your cardigan engages in 45 to 60 minutes of fun exercise each day. The superactive cardigan corgi requires between 45 and 60 minutes of exercise each day. Any type of weather, including the cold and rain, doesn't frighten him. Because of this, you should always be prepared to exercise. He will be eager to work all day long if you can get him a job on a ranch. Exercise that is vigorous is essential, not working. Fortunately, once he's exhausted from playing with you, he'll be content to spend the evening cuddling with you on the couch. He will, however, nag you until you exercise him if you don't. In addition, he'll start acting very mischievously, start shouting, and probably try to drag you out the door while holding the leash in his mouth. We advise using a harness when leash training your corgi rather than a collar due to their high energy levels and need for walks. The proper harness can help prevent this behavior because these puppies tend to pull when they are excited. Otherwise, he will grow bored, so be sure to switch up his activity classes. He likes to go for long, brisk walks, play fetch in the park, go on hikes in the woods, and when he's older, he'll even jog. To help him burn more energy, keep it as intense as you can, because he will be less likely to be mischievous when you get home the more he burns. To keep him occupied in between workouts, buy several corgi-friendly dog toys. The Way of Life This breed is adaptable to living anywhere due to its size. Only when given enough exercise is the breed suitable for apartment living. He is a small-sized dog, so he won't feel too crowded living anywhere. To make getting up and down from beds and sofas easier while reducing the risk of injury, many corgi owners purchase ramps. However, only if he is properly socialized as a puppy will they get along with the other canines who live there. Due to his moderately high prey drive, he might not get along with other household pets like cats or rodents. 
You should keep in mind that because each corgi is unique if your home includes other pets. For families with kids, he is a wonderful addition. Training. The most crucial part of socialization is exposing your cardigan to as many different things as you can while training her. The corgi is a cute little dog, but he needs to be trained just like any other canine. His socialization process is the most significant component of his training. This entails exposing him to as many various situations as you can, such as making loud noises at home and using the sidewalk. Additionally, socialization entails exposing him to both people and animals so that he can develop into a self-assured cardigan. You'll see a rise in his manners as you do this more frequently. At Love Your Dog HQ, we don't like to be stereotypical, but corgis are generally greedy dogs. So you know you'll have his attention if you have a treat in your hand. To help him learn new commands, give him treats. Positive reinforcement training is what we call this. However, be careful not to overfeed him because if you do, he'll become a pig-like puppy. Also effective are corgi backside scratches. Corgis are independent and stubborn dogs. Even if you have a treat in your hand, if you expect him to sit for it, he might look at you like you're mad. The secret to training dogs who are difficult to train is to keep sessions brief, enjoyable, and persistent. Give the treat to him only if he sits down. Considering that he'll know he can win you over once you succumb to his cheeky ways. It's important to note that since he is a herding dog, he might attempt to herd other members of the family. The same applies to both people and animals. If he is not given enough exercise, the likelihood of this rising. He may attempt to nip due to his nipping technique, so it is necessary to train him not to do so. Redirect his behavior if he begins to act in this way. Take it as a sign that you need to work on your exercise routine with him. How? The cardigan, thankfully generally speaking, Welsh corgis are healthy dogs with few medical issues. The breed of dog called the cardigan is robust. A 12 to 15 year lifespan is typical for this adorable little dog. Compared to other breeds, the cardigan is more susceptible to some health issues. The common conditions listed below are crucial for you to be aware of for this reason. In addition to the symptoms they are linked with. Although not all inclusive, this list is a good place to start. To help with medical costs, we also advise pet insurance. A hip dysplasia. The hip joint is affected by this type of joint dysplasia, which is the reason why the hip does not develop as it should. It grinds away gradually, resulting in discomfort and more wear and tear. Older corgis exhibit this condition more visibly because it gradually worsens over time. It's critical to choose parents of a cardigan pup who have healthy hip scores. Vision issues. Along with other eye conditions, the corgi is prone to progressive retinal atrophy, PRA. As a result of the degenerative nature of PRA, total vision loss may eventually result. Myelopathy in remission. It affects the spinal cord and progresses over time. It typically begins around the age of 8 in corgis. He will experience mobility problems and a loss of muscle mass as a result of this illness, which will affect his central nervous system. Intervertebral Disc Disease, IVDD, the breed is longer than he is tall, as you are already aware. There is a higher risk of IVDD in dogs with this frame. His spinal disc's cushioning starts to fall apart at this point, and his spine's ability to absorb energy is lost which could result in paralysis and increased spinal pain and injury. Nutrition. So that she can easily eat, feed your corgi dog food designed for smaller dogs. Age, size, and energy levels are a few variables that will affect the cardigan corgi's caloric intake. Every day, he will typically eat between 1 and 1.5 cups of premium kibble. However, a high-quality corgi-sized kibble should be the majority of his diet. You can certainly feed him wet food as well. It's a secure and practical way to give him a nutritious diet that includes high-quality protein, carbohydrates, fiber, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. Small dogs with a similarly diminutive mouth, cardigan corgis are. Nevertheless, based on how many treats he enjoys eating, you might not have guessed it. 
He will be able to eat his food comfortably and safely if you find kibble that's specifically made for small breed dogs. Being a puppy, when his body is still growing, this is especially crucial. As we've already mentioned, the corgi is a notoriously greedy breed of dog. You must therefore keep an eye on his daily food intake. Pay close attention to the directions on the package and remember to count treats toward his daily calorie requirement. Change to a weight management kibble to keep him healthy if the scales indicate he is getting overweight. Increased risk of hip dysplasia, IVDD, and other illnesses are caused by excess weight. Because of this, even though the extra chunk makes him cute, it must be taken seriously. Grooming For proper care of her thick and fluffy coat, your cardigan will require a grooming regimen. A moderate shedder all year long, the cardigan corgi. Throughout the spring and winter, he sheds a lot of hair. Creating a grooming schedule will help you control this shedding the best. Two to three times a week throughout the year, and every day during the shedding seasons, you should brush him from head to paw. Even though he's tiny, he's fluffy. The best brushes for your toolkit of corgi hairstyling are a pin or slicker brush. For those more active months, a de-shedding rake like the Furminator is also helpful. This will massage his skin and spread his natural coat oils while also removing dead hair and controlling shedding. Fortunately, he enjoys it as well, and you two get to spend more time together. Once every 8 to 12 weeks, your corgi should get a bath. Never give him a more thorough shampooing. You run the risk of irritating his skin and robbing his coat of its natural oils if you don't. The corgi benefits greatly from a gentle shampoo made with organic ingredients like oatmeal. A concentrated shampoo will be better if he has an extremely thick coat or works a corgi on the ranch most days. As a result, his booty won't accumulate any additional dust or dirt. He is more likely to experience eye issues than most people, so as you groom him, pay close attention to his eyes. Weekly cleaning is necessary for his large ears because they tend to gather a lot of dust and dirt. Because of his small mouth's propensity for periodontal diseases, he will also require weekly dental cleanings. Dog toothpaste should always be used. A schedule that is established early on is the key to successful grooming. Puppy prices and breeders. When purchasing from an established breeder, these adorable puppies start at about $1,000. You must now choose the appropriate breeder if you have chosen this puppy from among the many different dog breeds available. Examine the experiences of other owners by speaking with them. The likelihood that a breeder is of high caliber is increased by the presence of a professional website and favorable reviews. A good place to start is the American Kennel Club, which has a list of reputable cardigan corgi breeders. Meet a breeder in person before purchasing a puppy. The more you get to know them, the more questions they will ask you to make sure you are the right family for this breed. As well as their health certificates, request to see their parents. It's important to look for a place that's welcoming, cozy, and focused on families. A bad feeling should make you leave. From a reputable breeder, a puppy typically costs $1,000 or less. You should expect to pay more if you're looking for a puppy from a show line or a heritage that has won awards. Cardigans come in brindle and merle hues as well, since these are the more fashionable coat hues. Anything considerably less than this is a dead giveaway that they aren't top quality breeders and might even be a part of a puppy mill. Animal Shelters and Rescue You should definitely look there because it's likely you'll find a corgi there. Additionally, there are many options if you want to save a cardigan corgi. Visit the animal shelters in your community. Make another trip if you are unable to locate one right away. And ask the staff if they are aware of any cardigan corgis that are currently traveling or that are arriving. Compared to buying a puppy from a breeder, the average cost of rescuing a puppy is significantly lower. Your choices will be much more numerous if you are willing to adopt a corgi mix. Don't worry if the rescue in your area does not have a cardigan corgi. Across the nation, there are also devoted corgi rescue groups. Use these two excellent websites as a starting point for your search, Corgi Rescue and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi National Rescue Trust. As Family Animals The energetic and diligent Cardigan Corgi is a breed to be admired. 
If they grow up in a structured family setting, they are also a lot of fun. The family must be active for him to be with them. You must ensure that you exercise every day for at least 45 minutes. Additionally, he'll require a lot of playtime to keep his mind active. He'll turn into a mischievous pup if he gets bored. Remain vigilant in order to stop destructive behavior. With his family, he is a loving dog. This breed loves to be near his family and is the best cuddler there is. They avoid interacting with new people. Due to their potential for barking, they make excellent watchdogs. He'll get along with kids and other dogs in the house. Given their prey drive, they might get along with other animals. He could try to hurt his family. Monitor this behavior in the house carefully. He requires frequent grooming due to his extremely fluffy coat. The Cardigan Corgi is a stubborn breed. You'll need to maintain your training regimen because of their independent nature. Final observations. Perhaps out of the two Corgi breeds, the Cardigan Corgi is the more devoted. But given this, he might be the Corgi that would suit you and your family the best. This tiny pup is the perfect choice if you want a small dog that is entertaining and difficult to tire. Both a couch cuddle partner and a great dog alarm clock, he is also. You must be able to manage his high energy and personality as a conventional working dog. For him to remain happy, he requires a lot of mental and physical stimulation. He will become a problem if you can't provide this for him. However, if you can, you can rest assured that this cardigan is suitable for the entire family.